Today's topic is the viewpoint trick. Uh, we will consider the relation between the two viewpoints. One is the viewpoint from which we take pictures with three-dimensional scenes, and the other is a viewpoint from which we see the picture. Here are two pictures. Um, th they are the copies of the same drawing, and uh, same size, same height, same width. And we place these two objects on the turntable. One is very near, the other is very far. And when we rotate it, we understand that the two objects are apart, like that. We will see this situation from the special two viewpoint and compare the visual effects. This is the first viewpoint which we consider. The two uh, pictures, objects are there, and the one is very near and the other is far, but they are on the same turntable, on the same distance as before. If we rotate, we understand that the true distance between the front picture and the rear picture. Let's go back to this viewpoint. Please remember the impression of the <coughs> distance between the near picture and the far picture. This is the same scene viewed from the second special viewpoint. Even though we are looking at the same situation as before, the distance between the near picture and the far picture seems to be very close. Let's rotate them. Then we understand the distance between the two objects are almost the same as before. But when we go back to this viewpoint, we have an impression that the two objects are very close to each other. This is the second special viewpoint. I have just shown that the, although we are seeing the same scene, the distance between the near object and the far object uh, is very different in our impression. Let me show why this happens. Suppose that there are two objects of the same size. Uh, they are apart. One is nearer and the other is far. And take these objects by a camera whose lens center is here and get the picture on this picture plane. If we see this picture from the same viewpoint as the camera lens center, then we can reconstruct the 3D structure as original, almost. Uh, because we know the height of the object and so on, and we can extend the lines, and we can reconstruct the 3D scene from the picture. But if we see this picture from different viewpoint, the view from this viewpoint, which is different from the camera lens center, and try to extend the uh, picture to this 3D object, then, uh, because we know the height of the object and so on, and uh, we uh, psychologically reconstruct the object very near to the <coughs> uh, picture plane, because the viewpoint is near. This is the reason why the same scene we are looking, but we have a very different inflation of the distance between the two objects. And if we do this more <coughs> uh, emphasized manner, if we take the very near pictures by the camera whose lens uh, focal length is very short, and show this picture to the viewer who has this viewpoint, then we can 
create an impression that the two objects are very far and apart mm, in larger distance. And <clears throat> on the other hand, we have two objects very far and distant and take its camera, its uh, picture by a lens whose focal length is large and show the picture, resulting picture to the viewer, which is not so far from the picture. Then we can give an impression that the two objects are very near and their distance is not so much. Um, <clears throat> this visual effect gives um, various kinds of illusion. Let me show one example. This is a picture of the bridge named uh, Eshima Bridge in Japan. And uh, I took this picture by the lens whose focal length is large. And we have an impression that the <coughs> slope is very steep. But the actual slope is only 6.1%, which means that when we move 100 meter horizontally, then um, we climb up 6.1 meter. But um, the impression of this slope is much, much steep. This is because uh, I, take, I took this picture by the <coughs> lens whose focal length is very large, but we are looking at this picture in a relatively close to the picture. So the <coughs> uh, impression of the distance um, becomes smaller, which means that the slope looks like very steep. And uh, similar uh, visual effect or the trick is usually used in the photograph in advertisement of the real estate. For example, you may have an impression that uh, when you look at the picture uh, in the advertisements, the room looks like very large. But when you visit that room, actually, then you find that the room is much smaller than you <coughs> perceive in the picture. In this case, uh, the same trick is used diversely, meaning that we take the picture of the loom in a very short focal length lens and we see the picture in a more far away. Um, this is the visual effect when we change our viewpoint, um, which is near to the picture or the far from the picture. But the uh, other kind of visual effect happens when we move our viewpoint um, to left or right. Let me show one example. Here we have a picture of the um, uh, chair, chair, yes, stool, piano chair. Uh, this is uh, rectangles. And let us move our viewpoint to the, towards the light, which is equivalent to rotate the picture like that. Then the perceived length of the chair becomes shorter and shorter. This is uh, normal. Uh, viewpoint, and if we change our viewpoint to the light, the length of the desk becomes short. This can be understood if we consider this visual effect. Suppose that we are looking at something like the brick, and this so uh, yes, this is not an object. This is a picture, and if we move or viewpoint towards light, then the height doesn't change, but the width becomes shorter, and so the impression of the long edge becomes short. That is what happened when I showed 
we'll rotate the picture. Uh, but th if this is true, the same thing might happen when we move our viewpoint to the left instead of to the right. Let's try. Now, from here, if we move the viewpoint to the right, we have a shorter desk and a shorter chair. But let's move towards uh, left. Then the chair becomes longer, not shorter. Let's go back to the original position and move to the light. Then the desk become uh, chair becomes shorter. But if we move our viewpoint to the left, the chair becomes longer. <coughs> which is contradictory to our prediction. Why this happen? The reason is the following. Uh, I have just shown you this picture, this drawing, but this happens only when we see the object uh, from some viewpoint which is the same height level and moves to the right and to the left. But now we are looking at the picture from above, downward. So we are looking at this picture, something here. And so when we change our viewpoint to the right, which means that uh, we change our viewpoint to this, and so the object looks like that. And when we change our viewpoint to the left, uh, we move not this point, but this point. And so from this direction, the longer distance of the chair doesn't change, and this edge becomes shorter. And so the impression of the <coughs> length becomes larger. But the reason why the movement to the left and the movement to the right gives different impression. Let me experience it again. Let's move our viewpoint to the right. Then the mm, chair becomes shorter. Let's move to our view our viewpoint to the left. Then the chair becomes longer. Uh, this illusion was first found by an mm, American scientist, Maniatis, in uh, twenty uh, two uh, twenty twenty thousand ten. And it, uh, she found this um, illusion using the picture of the bathtub. And so this is a stretching tub illusion. This is called the stretching tub illusion. Let me show one more example by which if we change our viewpoint, the impression of the 3D object becomes different. Here, you have two pictures of the building seen from below. The two pictures are the same. Uh, I make, I took this picture and make it copies and place them horizontally in this way. Although they are the same picture, but we have an impression that the direction of the building towards upward seems different. The left building looks like more slanted to the left. Why this happens? This is because uh, we are looking at the two pictures at the same time, which means we see this picture from the left and we see this picture from the right. So we use different viewpoint to see these two pictures. That's the reason why they have the different uh, uh, slanted impression. Actually, the, in three-dimensional space, the vertical edges of the building are parallel to each other, and so they have a vanishing point. They, the point in this image 
um, from which these lines are emanating. And the vanishing point is something above this picture. And the vanishing point of this picture is another point, and they are different, and so we have an impression that two buildings are not parallel to each other. And the left picture is declined to the left more than the right one. And this is a leaning, called the Leaning Tower Illusion, which was found by Canadian scientist Kingdom and so on in 2007. So today I show that the viewpoint, choice of the viewpoint is very important from which we see the pictures. If we incorrectly choose the viewpoint to see the picture, we have an impression of the depth incorrectly. Now let me give quiz, and two quizzes actually. The first quiz is that when we align two copies of the same picture like that, we have an impression that the left one is declined more than the right one. And what will happen if we uh, align three copies? One more copy is here. And then what happens? Please consider. That is the first quiz. And the second question is that uh, for this illusion, we use the picture of a building seen from below. And if we use a picture of a building seen from above and make two copies and place them horizontally, what happened? Please consider. That is the second question. Thank you very much.